I have to say, there's just something special about Koyao Noi. So Jen showed you what a basic accommodation looks like on the island, but we also wanted to show you what a more luxury property looks like. So we stayed at Koyal Island Resort, which is essentially island life meets European luxury, if you will. This place is perfect for those of you that are coming to Thailand for only a week or two, or for your honeymoon, or just to disconnect and treat yourself. Situated hilltop with amazing views of these luxury tents. We basically consider this glamping at its finest. Each of them sit on private lots that overlook the Pha Nang Bay. Nothing short of extravagance was considered when they built these. The rooms are equipped with king size beds, double sink vanity tops, plenty of sitting room, a covered deck, zippable walls that tap you directly into nature, I'm running out of breath, an outdoor shower, and if that's not enough, a cloth tub that overlooks your private pool out to the beautiful islands that make up Thon Bok Karani National Park. I mean, have you ever woken up to something like this? So the tents are adult only, but if you are traveling with children, then the main section of the resort is gonna be your go-to option. Another advantage of staying somewhere nice like Koyal Island Resort is that seasonally and weather dependent, they'll offer these little perks like complimentary boat tours. So today, we're headed out to three of the surrounding islands to Koyal Noi. Paradise Island, Pak Bia Island, and last but not least, Hong Island. First stop of the day is an island called Pakbia. It's not that large itself, but it does have a V-shaped sandbar in the middle with a little beach on either side that you can swim in. Water's kind of clear. Should be a nice day. Second stop of the day, a little island cove area called Lao Lading, AKA Paradise Island. So these are only three of the islands that make up all of the Koyao Islands. There's actually 44 located in this bay area. Ooh, 
nature.